Hey guys, I'm Chris from the Silver Symbol Channel, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about EcoFlow's brand new products. They've actually upgraded the Delta 3 lineup, and these are the most popular units that they sell. So I'm going to cover not only what has changed and what's new, but also talk about run times with appliances. I get tons of comments from you guys asking, how long can it run a fridge or a TV or a washing machine, just to give you an idea of what kind of power they really have. So without further ado, let's dive into the specifics and take a look at the new models, and you can see what you think. And now for the big boy, this is the replacement for the original Delta Pro that was sold for years. In fact, it's still even sold today. And they come in two varieties. This has a Delta 3 Ultra and a Delta 3 Ultra Plus. The Plus is, of course, the better one. It's got the metalized case with the chrome strip. We'll start by looking at the outside of both models. Now, physically, they look kind of similar to the original Delta Pro. You've got three USB-C ports, and one of them is an HID port that can be used for communications with the UPS. And additionally, it can handle up to 140 watts. You've got two additional USB-C ports rated at 45 watts and a USB-A port that's the standard 18 watt. Now your AC outlets are actually the same as the original Delta Pro. Four 120 volt AC outlets rated at 20 amps, and you've got that RV outlet as well, which is really popular for people taking this on the road. Here's something I thought was actually a defect that is an engineering feature. When this thing is sitting on the ground, you can actually spin the rear wheels, which I thought was kind of odd, but that's by design. They do it so when you're pushing cables in, the whole thing doesn't just slide around like I've seen with other power stations. Instead, this little step-on rubber pad touches the ground evenly with the two ones on the front. I think that's a pretty clever idea. Here we're at the rear of the Delta 3 Ultra. It uses the same retractable doors as the other models, which is a huge plus. The difference here is you'll see there are very few ports in the back. There's no battery expansion. You can charge it via AC or solar, but you are going to be limited more than you will with the Ultra Plus, as you'll see in the specs. The battery inside each of these models is identical, just like the Max, except this one is a 3 kilowatt hour battery. But I want to point out one really cool feature that is brand new in any power station. You've got the AC1 and AC2 on and off buttons. That's because they've actually split up these outlets into two different kind of circuits. But you can control these remotely and you can also assign priorities to them. So if you've got this thing, say, hooked up in your van, one of them's running your heater, another one's running some other systems, but you want to make sure the heater stays on in the free app, you can now program that to be a higher priority. So this is kind of like a mini built-in smart panel. And this is really something brand new that I've not seen on any other power station. Now let's do a rundown of the specs on the Delta 3 Ultra lineup. They share the same 3.1 kilowatt hour battery. They actually have the same AC output too, 3600 watts continuously with a 7200 surge watt rating. They both can operate as a UPS with built-in communications between both models at under 10 milliseconds. The big differences are the input power and the expansion. Now when we look at the regular Delta 3 Ultra, that can handle 1800 watts of AC input. That's identical on both models. But the big difference is when you want to get to solar input charging, the Delta 3 Ultra can handle 800 watts, where the Delta 3 Ultra Plus can handle 1600 watts, essentially doubling that solar input. And finally, the biggest difference between both of these models is only the Delta 3 Ultra Plus has those smart priority outlets and can be expanded. The expansion happens via that rear port and you can add up to two additional batteries giving you about 11 kilowatt hours total. Now in terms of run time on each of these, if you were gonna get something like the Delta 3 Max lineup, you could typically run a refrigerator for about one day or you could run kitchen appliances, stuff like that for about one to two meals is kind of an easy way to think about it. It's a quick and dependable solution for short term power outages, things that you can plug directly in using just regular cords. When you step up to the Delta 3 Ultra, you could typically run a refrigerator for one to two days Days, or appliances for probably three to four meals, you're essentially doubling it. And if you go with the models that you can expand the batteries, of course you can run more things for longer. These are the two variants of the Delta 3 Max. Now physically they have the same exact outer dimensions. However, I am told that the batteries inside along with the inverters, all the cooling have been completely redesigned for more efficient cooling, pulling air from the front and drawing it through the back across the inverter. Between both of these Delta Maxes, they actually have the same number of USB outlets and the same number of AC outlets. Both of these Maxes are going to be more of a grab and go type of model. And I do like on the back, they now are including from the Delta Ultra lineup, these retractable doors. They cover the ports a lot easier. They're hard and solid, so they're not going to flex or kind of tear off over time. Both of these can be charged via a car, an alternator, solar charging, but that's when things get different. The Delta Max is not expandable, meaning you cannot add any additional batteries, where on the Plus you can actually add two batteries. But additionally, the Plus gives you a second solar input, allowing you to charge from two different sources, one of which could be an alternator 
On the Plus model, you also get that Anderson power pole, and for a lot of people, that is a game-changing port. But here are the detailed specs between both models. The Delta 3 Max and the Delta 3 Max Plus both use the same exact battery, but it's a 2 kilowatt hour battery. Power output between these two models is quite different. The Delta 3 Max can do 2400 watts continuous with 4800 surge watts where the Delta 3 Max Plus can do 3,000 watts continuous and 6,000 surge watts. They're both putting out pure sign output, and both of these can actually support UPS function with an under 10 millisecond switch over time, which is perfect for computers. The big difference is only the Delta 3 Max Plus has communication built in, meaning it can directly communicate with something like a NAS or a PC. Both models can handle up to 1800 watts of AC input. So the Delta 3 Max standard model can do 500 watts of solar input, but the Delta 3 Max Plus can double that at 1000 watts of solar input. And that concludes the new Delta 3 series lineup. And if you have any feedback or things that I didn't cover, be sure to leave me a comment below. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the Silver Symbol channel for more videos coming up.